Poland is fast rising as an investment hub. New businesses are rapidly emerging. Skyscrapers and apartment buildings are being built in the capital city of Warsaw as Poland moves towards progress. Many Poles who had traveled to the UK in a mass migrant wave are now returning back home. What caused them to take such a drastic step? Let's find out. So what is calling the Poles back home? Think about it in these terms. The Polish economy is like a huge magnet. What's attracting people back are better employment opportunities. But it doesn't just stop at that. There are other highly attractive features too, such as high wages and the rising standard of living. Here's something for you to chew on. Poland is actually all set to outshine the UK economically by the time this decade ends. This means that Poland's GDP per person is expected to be on par with the UK sometime around the end of this decade. Sure, the pandemic had caused trouble, but the Polish economy has been doing well. If we count down from the year 2004 to recent times, it has grown annually by 4% which means that it has moved ahead of Britain in terms of opportunity with a real income that has tripled. Now think about this against Keir Starmer's shocking observation. The Labour leader has already spelled a negative outcome for Britain, saying, The average family in Britain will be poorer than the average family in Poland by 2030. Poland, on the other hand, is on the dramatic rise. The Polish Prime Minister, Manutiez Morawiecki, has had this to say when 200,000 Poles were about to leave the UK after the Brexit referendum. Polish people are starting to realize that there are exciting opportunities waiting for them at home. He's not very far off the mark. Just take a minute to think about the World Trade Organization's information that Poland has left China, India and Brazil behind in the growth of online services. So it's no wonder that young Poles want to go back home to their homeland. Some are even calling it a reverse brain drain. They can see a promising future. Warsaw's city center is now lined with skyscrapers. Big multinational companies have poured billions of dollars into setting up their operations here. Giants like Microsoft, Google, and NVIDIA have their eyes on Poland's booming economy. And you know what that means? A good number of well-paid jobs are being created as we speak. Poland's educated workforce is luring these big names. What makes Poland even more appealing for them are two factors, the low cost of living and cheap labor costs. You can't beat this triple combo. It's making Poland the ultimate destination for big businesses. Poland's tech industry is all set up to rise to the top. Dominik Andrzejczuk, a Polish-American and former Silicon Valley magnate, cannot stop speaking about it. Poland is sitting on a gold mine of tech talent, ranking four overall in STEM graduates and number one in female STEM graduates. But the government, too, is playing a good role. What you have to understand is that the Polish diaspora has a very unique cultural identity, so much so that it goes by the name Polonia. And the Polish government wants to facilitate Polonia, which is why it devised the Polish deal. Now, this is a sweet deal. It makes sure that the Poles who return back to Poland have an easy time in the first four years after arrival, meaning an exemption from income tax. Let's take the case of the World Bank economist Lukas Marek Mark. Now, Lukas has moved to the UK from Poland in 2015. But he wasn't very happy with his housing and living arrangement, which he called primitive. His bed sit with a shared lavatory was heavy on his pocket. It amounted to a costly £650 a month. Turns out Lucas had a happy ending. With a new job in Warsaw, he moved back in 2022. His opinion of the city? He called Warsaw a better city to live in than London. Many Poles think that housing in London is up to the mark. Street crimes are getting worse, and with the NHS also crumbling, they're seriously considering their options to move back to Poland. Poland is the heart of investment now. Its business-friendly atmosphere has put it in the lead for innovation. Also, who can say no to the inviting call of one of their own ambassadors? If you can remember, this was in the year 2020. The former Polish ambassador to the UK 
Arkady Rishkoki called the Polish people back home, saying, We are waiting for you with open arms. Given these positive changes, can you really be surprised at the Poles' decision to go back? But why did they leave Poland in the first place? Let's go back to the year 2003. This was the year in which Poland signed the Treaty of Accession. In 2004, Poland became a member of the European Union. What you might not know is that huge numbers of Polish people started to move from Poland to the UK. It was the biggest migrant movement of Poles. But what was the reason that led to such a drastic move? This was a negative period for Poland. For one, unemployment was widespread. One in five Poles was looking for work. Tony Blair's UK, on the other hand, was thriving. Unemployment was low. The Poles were quick to grab this opportunity. They wanted to earn better wages. The UK at the time was expecting the arrival of around 13,000 people from 10 new EU countries, including Poland. Polish migrants alone exceeded that number multiple times over. The Polish entry into the UK was not a quiet one. The diaspora soon made its presence known. Polish shops popped up on the streets and so did Polish clubs and churches. When the Poles moved back, then the UK offered better prospects. People wanted to escape the desperate condition of their home country. It was what the circumstances dictated at the time. The Poles managed to carve a good life for themselves in the UK. So it's pretty shocking to think that their numbers dropped rapidly between 2016 to 2020. They plummeted from 911,000 to 691,000 during this period, according to the Office of National Statistics. Data from 2016 suggests that 1,200,000 Poles were living their lives in the UK. Whereas current official figures suggest that around 700,000 Poles are currently residing in the UK. Emito.net conducted a survey at the start of 2024. The total number of those surveyed was 1,727. An equal number of men and women recorded their answers in an online questionnaire. The findings are quite eye-opening. Here's one of the most interesting ones. People aged 45 to 54 make up the largest section of the Polish population currently residing in the UK. That makes up about 40% of the Polish population. This could be because younger Poles have left the UK to find success back in dynamic Poland. According to the same survey, the biggest reason for Poles' move to the UK was for better job opportunities. There were other reasons too. Some Poles were quite experimental such as those who were looking for new experiences and adventures. These made up about 24% of the respondents. Then there were those who wanted to walk the tried and tested path of their families. These were around one in six. And last but not least, 2.6% had come to study. Now you need to keep in mind that even those who currently remain in the UK do see changes in Poland as quite good. Let's analyze the figures. About 44% of the polls surveyed viewed the changes in Poland as positive. If we break down further, 35% think they are positive, while 9% think they are very positive. Now that we know some of the history behind the polls' emigration to the UK, it's time to take a closer look at what made them leave. So let's go back to a study by the University of Glasgow Middlesex University and the University of Sheffield. This was done after Brexit, and around 1,105 Polish people in the UK were surveyed. The Poles surveyed were key workers belonging to the sectors of health and social care, education, transportation, childcare, utilities, and goods manufacturing. And the results were quite significant. 28% of respondents informed that they had experienced workplace discrimination. Those in health and social care believed that their treatment was different as compared to migrants from other places. An astonishing 55% of those surveyed responded that there was a deterioration in their mental health. Let's take a look into that further. Around 31% reported this deterioration to be significant, while 24% termed it somewhat. How far was Brexit responsible for this reverse migration? Let's examine the details. 
The number of Poles who lived in the UK was quite high before the Brexit vote in 2016. It was around a million. Following Brexit, around 200,000 Polish members left the UK. The reason? Things were becoming uneasy for migrants. Safety was a concern as well. Those who were interviewed believed that the UK government's immigration rhetoric was of a hostile and inflammatory nature. It had the potential to lead to offences towards them. Middlesex researcher Kasia Narkovits had this to say about the situation. Their decision to leave solidified during the pandemic, although they had swelled since Brexit when they realized that their position in the UK was more precarious and the perception of them as hard working had become much more unstable. Moreover, she expected these numbers to rise more during the economic crises following Brexit. But Brexit raised another question mark for the Poles who were happily settled in the UK. Divorced Poles did have permission to stay in the UK, but things were a little complicated. In order to stay, they had to apply for residency by the EU settlement scheme. Unfortunately, that came with a lot of uncertainty, especially when it came to important decisions such as finding a job, applying for health care or mortgage. Of course, the fact that the entire leave motion for Brexit was about cutting down EU migrants made many Poles feel unwelcome. Another factor that was a huge blow to Poles in the UK was the deadly pandemic. In the shadow of COVID-19, reportedly, one in three Poles wanted to head back to Poland. Based on the study, the pandemic itself wreaked havoc on Polish migrants, with 42% finding themselves in a worse financial situation. According to the same study, more than 50% of those surveyed cited COVID-19 as the reason which caused them to leave. During the pandemic, the Poles did not want to be burdened by the distance from loved ones. Their problems were made worse by the travel restrictions. The COVID-19 pandemic also ended the jobs of many Polish laborers. When they returned back to Poland, they were pleasantly surprised. They found the conditions to be quite suitable. While Brexit might have started the movement, the COVID-19 pandemic really made things speed up, which is not a bad thing as things in Poland are looking good. According to PKO Bank, Poland's GDP growth from 2019 to the second quarter of 2024 has been the fourth highest in the EU, standing at 12.5%. Poland is shooting to achieve a $2 trillion economy by the year 2050. That's a goal, but will Poland be able to nail it? McKinsey and company think as long as Poland is able to activate a range of growth drivers. Poland's secret to achieving growth will depend upon fostering and keeping competitive advantages in both European and global markets. At least that's what Thomas Marcinek, managing partner of McKinsey and Company in Poland, thinks. While things might have taken a good turn for Poland, the fact remains that the country has its own challenges to deal with. What do you think are the biggest challenges that the Poles moving back will face? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe.